if you have any words of wisdom or um, what you what advice you would give to an aspiring broadcast journalist. You know, when I was starting out, I used to write lists of, of ideas and I would go up to Don Farmer, who was a correspondent on 2020, because I was a desk assistant, which basically meant I made coffee and changed the wires, the teletype machines. Yes, that's how old I am. <laughs> Had to wear little white gloves, but I remember coming up with a list of 20 ideas for him and just walking to his office, 22 years old, and saying, I've got some story ideas for 2020. He was very impressed. So, you know, you have to really kind of get out there and not be shy. And what made you branch off to having your own show? I thought that this would be a show where I could kind of be more who I was and have and have deeper, more meaningful conversations because everything's so truncated on television. So that's why I decided to try to give this a try. How do you stay so real? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hopefully I'm humble. I mean, I'm sure like, I'm obnoxious some of the time and some of my coworkers will attest to that. But um, I don't know, I just respect and value people.